What would happen if you got an email or a notification today or tomorrow that said, hey, Notion is shutting down, right? Probably freak out a little bit if you're like me and you use Notion, you have databases, you've got uh, different work uh, information in there, you've got personal stuff in there. But I think that this is a good time to, if you're not familiar with it, find out what it looks like if you had to export your content, right? And there are ways to do this in Notion. There's a blog post or in their uh, help files, you can find this. Um, but if you're not regularly doing this, this is something you should really think about. Um, if a service you depend on to keep track of your notes, your uh, work information, all of this really important stuff, if they just disappeared, something happened, again, I think it's highly unlikely. I'm not saying that this is going to happen with Notion, uh, but it, whatever tool you're using, you should be taking some form of backup or at least thinking about that in case, hey, what if the worst did happen? How impactful would this be to me if I lost access to everything today or tomorrow? And I think that uh, that can help you kind of frame this and think about how you want to do it. Um, now, with Notion, for myself personally, I'm not as concerned about it. Um, I have backups of various things, um, but it's not the main tool I use right now. Um, I'm using Rome Research for most of my writing and things that are more, I guess, time intensive to recreate. Although I do have some things now, I've started making a Notion over the past month or so, um, some databases and some different uh, content kind of uh, production things where I'm like, oh, I started uh, in my mind thinking what would happen if something happened with Notion or if I needed to leave Notion and go to something else. So reminded myself about how I can back things up uh, from Notion. Um, and this is, again, something you want to think about no matter what tool you're using, because this could be hugely time consuming. Um, also, if you just straight up lost the data, like how bad would that be for you? Would it take you um, a certain amount of time to recreate it or somehow redo it? Or would it just be lost forever? And what would that impact be? So again, um, there's a link down below. You can check out how you can do this with Notion. Um, but again, I want to really uh, talk about and you know, kind of drive home the importance of taking some regular backups. And one of the areas you really want to think about with this is what's the time frame that's important to you? Um, you know, if it's critical work stuff and you've got client information and, you know, if stuff went down, it would be, you know, a huge problem, then maybe you want to be doing this daily. Um, maybe there's some updates, some information, people putting stuff in. If you're working with a team, there could be uh, reasons that you want to do this daily. However, usually that's not the case. Um, it may be like a weekly type of a thing, or you could consider bi-weekly, maybe monthly, depending on, again, how much you're using it and how much time it's going to take you to do it. Um, and again, you could come up with a process so that you could hopefully do it more quickly. And depending on your usage of Notion, whether it's a free account, a paid account, it's going to look a little bit differently. And again, this all goes back to this is more than just Notion. Consider the tool you're using and how you're going to go about doing this and how you could get access to that information. Um, because again, you can see on the page here that, you know, export format, markdown and CSV, that might be great, but it may not include some of the information. Maybe you have um, a ton of screenshots. Um, you know, where is that saved? Are you going to be able to import that into something else? Are you going to be able to open up those text files? And so putting in, you know, 10 or 15 minutes of thinking about this uh, can really save you some time and trouble down the road. Um, and so I know I've, I've thought about this a little bit and, uh, you know, I know some people go to text only um, knowledge bases, things like that. I haven't decided to do that, but I can see why, because over time, um, you know, all of these tools, you either end up switching, things change, maybe you want to go to a different system. Um, so for the long term, it's really, you know, an important question, but that's kind of a whole thing in and of itself. Today, I just want to focus on exporting and backing up your information so that if something happened to a system you're using, um, you know, you're not stuck out and you're losing all of your notes, your knowledge, your databases, your work information, all of that. So uh, what I would encourage you to do is to think about this and think, what should you be doing as an export and how often are you going to store it? Like, what is that process like? Is it something you're going to do? Is it something you're going to have someone else do? And where are you going to store that? Um, you know, potentially somewhere online where you can have it uh, backed up on the cloud might be a good idea. Or maybe you have a reason that you want to keep it locally for security or something else like that. Well, if you have any comments, questions, or ways you go about doing this, especially with Notion, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, you can check out the Productivity Academy information on the channel here or at productivity.academy.